Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's early, not very late, it's about 5 after 7. So I'm filming two videos today because I didn't film at all yesterday. Uh, work and again, work today. But I'm going to try and get these videos done before and after work. And I'm actually going to do a DreamWorks movie. Be oh, not a DreamWorks movie, a dream a video on DreamWorks because I haven't done that yet at all this summer. So today's video actually is on a few things I have noticed in the last three years of DreamWorks. I don't know about you, but in the last three years, DreamWorks has released lots of films. They released about two films a year, sometimes three. In this case, it was only two a year. But I have noticed that the only two, in my opinion, the only two good movies that I've actually seen in theaters that were released in those past three years, and this is tw oh, technically four because I'm including 2019, so 2022, 2021, 2020, and 2019, have been How to Train Dragon the Hidden World and Bad Guys. Everything else didn't really intrigue me, and didn't sound like they would do much at the box office, and I was right. Except for Bad Guys. Bad Guys, since 2019, has been the only DreamWorks movie to make more than $85 million. So I've constructed a list of, well, not how much each one made. Well, I only have one of how much they made, but the position they were on in the list. So I found this list online. I will post the link uh, in the description of every DreamWorks movie, some that have been re-released, some that have been re-released on there, um, and how much they have made since coming out. Now, of course, number one on that list was Shrek 2. So I can pipe the list to see where the movies that have come out since 2019 to 2022 went on the list. So, as I mentioned, Heart and Dragon 3 was number 17, make, and it's since its release in 2019. Now, of course, this one did have the 2021 re-release, but I'm only including 2019. Uh, it made 160 million seven hundred ninety nine thousand five hundred and five dollars since its release. We move on to the second movie coming out in 2019, which was A Bondle. Now, of course, this movie actually didn't seem that bad. My sister actually kind of wanted to see it, but it didn't really intrigue us. And that one was 35 out of 47. And then we move on to movies coming out in 2020. And of course, in 2020, DreamWorks did something different. They only released sequels. They released Trolls, Wo Trolls 2 World Tour and Croots A New Age. Or new era, I think it's new age. Trolls came up on 44, which was like the third last spot. So that movie actually did not do that great. Number 36 was Crude's New Age. So this isn't actually that bad, but it is in the 11th last spot. We move on to 2021, which again released sequels, technically, because they released Spirit Untamed, which, in my opinion, the movies that have been released since 2002's Spirit Dying of the Cimarron and the TV shows and movies based, well, only technically TV show and movie, that have been released based on that show should have never happened because Spirit is this horse that doesn't want to be tamed and he will never be tamed. Yet in the TV show, Lucky, he doesn't live with them, he has he lives out in the wild, but Lucky rides him whenever she pleases. So of course it's not a shock to me that Spirit Ryan Tree, which came out 
19 years after the first one, is in 41st position for amount made in the box office. And the reason, I think the reason behind this is because children who watched Spirit Style in the Cinema in 2002 would have probably by this time be grown up and have either younger siblings or cousins or even kids of their own that probably would have wanted to see Spirit Untamed. They would have, but they would have been not intrigued by it because they'd seen the original. And I've seen the original, even though I was born in 2004. I actually have the original on VHS, so I can't really watch it, but we have a VHS now. Uh, so next, also released in 2021, was Boss Baby Family Business. Now, of course, the first Boss Baby, I mean, didn't really intrigue me. I mean, that was... That was weird. Um, but... Boss Baby Family Business came out 37. So this is actually... Again, ninth last position. Now, of course, this one, again, second one, not really... I actually, I'm in the first one, so like, those movies didn't really intrigue me. Now, of course, here's the question, why would these movies come out with so, so much less? Because all the other ones, up to How to Dragon 3, and maybe past that, because that's one in 16, all made over a hundred million dollars. All of these were less. And if you notice, I haven't mentioned where Bad Guys was it because I wanted to touch upon this. I believe that the reason these movies made so much less is, first of all, they obviously weren't that intriguing to people, but also, DreamWorks had a bit of um, money issues. I think it was 2018. It might have been 2017. Um, if you know the actual year, I'm like, I, it was somewhere between 2015 and 2018. It might have been 16 as well. Um... Bit of money issues where they had to lay off people. Now, of course, by this time, they're still picking up the pieces and trying to rehire people. So, of course, they can make they can make movies as great. Even How to Train Dragon 3, which is the top of this list, made less than the other two How to Train Dragon 2 movies. And even it was supposed to be released in 2015, and it being released in 2019 because they kept pushing it back. It was 2015, then 2016, then 2018, then like, you know what? 2019, and we'll release it. And they did. But I believe most of the reason is mostly because, again, um, they didn't have as many people working in the studio. And the movies just weren't that intriguing to people. But then we come to The Bad Guys, which was released in twenty in April of this year. When my, me and my sister saw previously this, we wanted to go to this, because we haven't... We hadn't been to a DreamWorks movie in the theater in four years. Partially because, one, it was COVID, so theaters were closed. And two, the only movie, DreamWorks movie that actually came to the theater that intrigued us was How to Train Dragon 3. So... We were pretty excited to see the bad guys when we actually went and saw it. And my theater, personally, they played it one week, then they played another movie, then they played bad guys for a second week. Overall, since its release in April, it has made over $96 million. It is on the 28th position in all in lifetime, in overall amount of money it has made since its release. Behind movies, behind all three How to Dragon movies, all four Shrek movies, all three of the Madagascar movies, Rise of the Guardians, Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, what else came out? Spirits Down in the Cimarron, Joseph King, I don't think Joseph King was Gromit, um, Prince of Egypt, all the movies that came out before 20. 19 and 2020 and maybe some that were released in 2017 i don't think you must release anything in 2018. so in other words the bad guys has surpassed all the movies on this list except how to train dragon 3 which is five positions above it 
Now, of course, DreamWorks is releasing a second Puss in Boots this year in December. But will it have as much success as the first one? From what I've seen from DreamWorks sequels and remakes like such as Spirit Untamed, um, it is usually, if it is just two movies from like ones like Trolls 2 Codes to Boss Baby 2, usually the first one is done better, but if it is movies that are in a franchise like Shrek, Madagascar, How to Train Dragon, and Kung Fu Panda, usually the third of the third movie won't do as good as the other movies in the franchise. Sometimes we'll, it varies because with How to Train Dragon 3, the first one actually has a lot of like 217, then the second is like 177, I think. So, and then, but then the other ones, it, it's different. So, Puss in Boots 2, I'm guessing will probably not be on the bottom of this list, but it probably will not. I'm going to say it's going to be about maybe 15, because Puss in Boots, I think, is up on the list because Puss in Boots is in Shrek. And everyone seems to love Shrek, so everyone's going to love the Puss in Boots movie. So that's going to be much of this video. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell soon for the next video, which I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet, but it will be this evening. See you.